trying to discourage foreign ownership? Quite the opposite. China has opened the door to full foreign ownership of financial services companies and local banks in recent years, though strict limits remain on foreign investment in certain areas such as internet, transportation, mining, and media companies. The so called variable interest entity, VIE, structure was developed as a way around those limits. Under a VIE, which was pioneered by now private Sina Corp in 2000, a Chinese company receives foreign investment via a shell company incorporated in a place such as the Cayman Islands or the British Virgin Islands, outside the purview of Chinese regulators. Legally shaky and hard to understand, this solution nonetheless proved acceptable for years to US investors, Wall Street, and the Communist Party alike, until now. In November, a commission created by the U.S. Congress to track and anticipate threats from China recommended prohibiting U.S. investment in VIS linked to Chinese entities or, at the least, more prominently flagging the risks involved to investors. The SEC is already asking more detailed questions of Chinese firms about offshore corporate structures before it will consider allowing them to go public in the U.S. China stopped short of a ban on VIS when it unveiled its sweeping regulations governing overseas share sales at the end of 2021, but the rules make the structure less relevant because such listings.